Good evening and welcome to the 504. Well, for someone who falls a lot, it's always nice to know what happens to celebs too. This latest epic fall goes to Megan Trader. The way down. She was performing her new song on the Tonight Show when she went down, but hey, she got back up. I'm Sheba Tark and the 504 starts right now. Get ready for a fun night on the 504. We've got two of our all stars, DJ Slime One from Q93 what? and Good Tank man. of Tank of the Bangers. Hey Welcome back to the show. I was I should have showed y'all that video earlier. The two of y'all cut up with Megan Trainer falling. That was like, have y'all not seen that? I, I did not. I see forgot it. about it. I didn't no. See it. Slab, oh, the man. ladies go through it with the heels. Off camera, you were just telling us, we were trying to tell you how hard it was to be a woman. Do you understand now? She had heels on trying to grab the microphone. Man, she does that for a living. What? What's that what, supposed what that, to right, mean? What does that have to do with the heels? She, Men who perform don't wear heels for a living? Uh, well, Prince did. Uh, Prince did. Oh, Prince, Life okay. Good I got a couple Prince. of Prince did. Life is different Yeah, but okay, now. Michael Jackson that's one put on some heels. to like every other woman. Uh, yeah. what, what's your boy name? My heart goes out to Megan. Thank you, mine My heart too. truly goes out to Megan. I mean, first of all, this is the news, and you just showed it, which you down bad for. I was just gonna say, we show, <laughs> wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. We show everyone who falls, that including was, when I go down. That was wrong, <laughs> I feel sorry for me. I know, for she's real. been everywhere. I can't stop watching fall videos. I know that it's part of my ticket to hell, but they're so funny. <laughs> Your they're, ticket to hell. Come on, are they not hilarious? They're hilarious. Yeah. It, I, yeah. I, I'm waiting for the video for, uh, from yesterday, the guy punched the dude from the uh, Blue Jays. Do you have that one? Wait, what? What? You what didn't see that? that? You know what? You know you can call and tell us if you want a video. I mean, so you're going to get on the show and ask us you, if we have a bit. You guys are omnipotent. You have everything. I thought you would have this together. I don't even know what you're talking about. Uh, all I heard was nipotent. In a commercial break, I got you. I I got you. We have other stuff to talk yes. about. OK, you want to talk about what we have to talk what about? What we got to talk about. OK, so women in general, as we've been saying, get so much flack for their clothing. <laughs> it's even worse in the spotlight. A Los Angeles meteorologist wore a dress to work that didn't cooperate with the green screen. So as a backup, she had a black beaded cocktail dress, so she threw that on. But people on social media went crazy, so one of her co-workers had a solution. Advisory in place tonight and even into tomorrow. What's going on? <laughs> you want me to put this on? Why? Because it's cold? I'm a lot of emails. What? There you go. Really? There you go. Okay. That's it. I look like a librarian now. Okay, so first off, they got so many emails that this is why it became an issue. Then they got so many emails about him, they said shaming her. So I want to know what you guys think about the whole situation. That's a lot. Man. She's shaming the librarians all across the world. She's you the know, that's, that's, there's no shame to go around the world. Yeah, the, lady so was, silly. the lady was dressed correctly. Let her do her thing, she please. Was, She's just ooh. the weather. Say it, Tango. I'm, I'm hold a sound back. Bad. This is not the place to hold back. She looked a little too too risque. No, me. right. It's that's not you, the you first changed, appropriate you put on choice. Your cocktail yeah. dress, Mo. Yeah. That's your cocktail dress. That's not your news. Dress. But I will defend her and say, if you uh, come to work with a dress on that doesn't match like the green screen, mm -hmm. and, and you can't wear it, you don't you can't be like, oh, I'm just not working today. She right. was like, it was the only other dress I had. Now maybe she could have a different backup dress, but I could see why she put it on. Too many people with wrong opinions. The ladies at night, the ladies, beautiful lady, let her do her thing. Nothing was showing inappropriate. Let was her co-worker wrong? I think he was making a joke by he giving was her the they, they were really making a joke because on Good Morning joke, America, they, they made a light of it because the anchors themselves had on shorts and, right. and, and her, the anchor man and had stuff. on shorts. Yeah. yeah. I, I, think, I think it was but a prank you think he was wrong. wrong. I think that that's a little embarrassing. Yeah. And I'm a on lot TV. He'll put on it. And then it makes right. it seem like literally I'm actually trying to make you cover up. And the yeah. world doesn't know it's a joke. The world right. sees it as an anchor on with a little skin showing somebody yeah. and a man gives her a sweater. It looks... It doesn't look right. It doesn't I look agree good. with you there. And I also say before. people on the internet do too much. Let people live. People on the internet do, do too much. Let them live. Could yeah. you imagine yourself putting a comment like on? Absolutely the, not. Because like, we oh all my think God. this stuff. But put, a, put, a, put a sweater on right. it. Like, uh, but people do it all the time. Live, we'll get some tonight. Don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> I get it all the time. A 27 year old receptionist in London was sent home from work without pay because she didn't want to wear heels. She works for a finance company and was told she had to wear a two to four inch heel. Lord. It's kind of legal though because companies can make you adhere to their dress code as long as it's reasonable. Is this fair? 
If you have a company and you want women to wear heels, you guys think this is fair? Or like this woman, should you be asked to go home? I Man, you, you know where you work at. You know what the dress code is. <gasps> oh, oh, but come on, where does the dress code come from? Really, really? I'm just saying that the, the, the company said that you have to wear heels. So let's, 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 let's go back to what he said. Let's go back to what he said earlier. You know where you at? She looking nice. Yeah. She handling her business. You're trouble with, with my shoes screw up my um <laughs> my my work? Yeah. That's no. wild to me. Now that's sexist. And they are it, it may be. slab. No, you don't realize that. I understand that. But if if you apply for this job and you know the bylines of the job. But you know that most job. jobs are going to require women to wear heels. So this is not just an issue. She can't just go, oh, well, then I won't work this job. Maybe she could wear the old lady flats, the, the big squares like this. You know what? This is the problem. <laughs> What's the, the problem What's right here? the heel going to do? Is it going to make me write faster, type faster, answer right. a question quicker? What, what, why, why do I have to wear the heels? Uh -huh. And maybe I'm so poor because why I am so really not a heel girl. And sometimes I wear them, but when I don't want to wear them, I don't want to wear That's them. That's my choice. But if the yeah, company says... Choice. If the company says you have but to, why is like the company uniform. saying that? Probably because know. it's run by men who are sexist and think women belong in heels. I'm just saying, I, a lot of chicks I know that's their uniform. I, I can't get out and the house And if they want the to, heels. we're not knocking them. You know, and okay. I'm not knocking nobody. I'm just saying, if the job like he was says you gotta wear heels not, and you apply for knocking. this job, so you know what you got to, just like at my job, if I want to be at a job with an open dress code where you can wear t-shirts and stuff, what? We have to move on. Damn. We're gonna agree to disagree. <laughs> Bow Wow is getting his own talk show. Remember, he oh, has some practice on 106 in Park. Oh, Let's not forget his epic He's Grammy so fail. Oh, Lord. The 58th annual Grammy Awards are getting ready to start. Remember that went on for almost two minutes. Wow, I love TV. this one. All right, so he's announced this new show saying basically, I never wanted to be the best rapper. I wanted to be the greatest multi-entertainer of all time for my era. Oh, I just want to know if you guys want to want to watch and do you think he's one of the best multi, what did he say, multi-entertainer of his Whoa, era? Um, Quickly, watch or not. That's a lot to, that's a lot to, um, to strive for. Oh, so, okay. <laughs> I ain't Slap. watching by a while. Really? Nope. He oh, got to okay. call himself Sean. His name's Sean for real, right? I think, sh is it Sean? Shad. 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 After that Grammy blunder and the blunder with the Migos. <laughs> Let him go. It's not All his right. fault, though, with the Grammy thing. This it's his fault with the, thing. with the Migos. All right, yo. All right, guys. <laughs> All right, we've got more wildness tonight. There is a new crazy Twitter debate. This time it's over what to do if you gave someone a kidney and then they wanted to break up with you. We'll have the story behind that controversy. And Steph and Aisha Curry are one of those popular couples right now, but they're sparking a debate over whether there's such a thing as too young to marry.